All right. My bad, my bad. Now look, this goes out to all the my kid come first bitches. Yeah, I said it. Now before you cuss me out, turn me off, and tune me out, hear me out. My kids come first. I see this shit a lot on um, Facebook. I hear it come out the mouth of women a lot. And please understand that I do overall understand the perspective that you're putting that statement in, my kids come first. But let's blow that shit out the water and let me tell you why it's bullshit though. My kids come first, meaning before any of these niggas, my kids come first. Child, please, man, if I do anything for a nigga, I'ma take care of my kids. I'ma hold my kids down. I'ma do this for my kids. The reason this really applies, and I want y'all to understand this, feel me? The reason this statement is relevant and it applies is because it's made with the bullshit nigga in mind. The bullshit nigga. The bitch ass nigga, the lazy ass nigga, the do nothing ass nigga, the lame ass nigga, the whack ass nigga, the abusive ass nigga, the cheating ass nigga. This is all around whack ass nigga. This is what this statement was created in mind in regards to this nigga. Now understand this also, when you hear me use the term nigga, I'm not just talking about the black male. I loosely apply niggas to just meaning all motherfuckers. So with that being said, this statement was created with the whack male in mind due to whatever color you are, nigga. This statement is created with that being in mind. So therefore, when you're dealing with a bitch ass, punk ass nigga, well yeah, your kids should come first. Because in the first place, you had no business dealing with a bitch ass, punk ass nigga. See, the problem is that we're unevenly yoked. But I'ma try to keep this ghetto and not hit y'all with scripture so y'all don't think a motherfucker's being holier than thou. Yeah, motherfuckers is unevenly yoked and you dealing with bitch ass niggas So therefore, yeah, your kids should come first in that circumstance But the, it really shouldn't have been that circumstance to begin with Now with that being said, I understand And I'm about to get a little personal, which is I, I try not to never do Too personal anyway With that being said, there was a point in time where I had to separate from my wife She left me with good cause, good reason She put herself and her kids first because she was dealing with a bitch ass, punk ass, hurtful ass nigga She made the right decision but when you're dealing with a man who's holding his house down and he's operating under the basic principles of the most top, being the head of the household, a breadwinner, how do your kids come first over this nigga? And I'm gonna totally blow that statement out the water for those who are still mentally resisting. And let me just hit you with the basic ignorance of your statement. If you as a woman laid down with a man and created a child, that man just came first. There is no child without the man. So literally, that man came first. And then once again, if you want to apply scripture or basic spiritual principle, man is first man. It's hard to be a king without a queen. You can't establish a kingdom without a foundation. And as much as I like to be the king of my castle, I ain't shit without my queen. She's my foundation. She's everything that my kingdom is built off of. But she places her king first. That's what it's supposed to be. That's the way love is supposed to go. You're supposed to hold your mate down and vice versa, man to woman. Man ain't supposed to be placing his kids over the woman. And we understand childly needs have to be addressed and you take care of your kids and all that. Nobody's debate, that's not even up for debate. But you're out of order. It is chaotic when you as a woman say, oh, my kids come first before any man. That's the problem with fucking around with any man. Because if we were living in the natural order of things with a man, being righteous, which is what we're supposed to be doing, but us niggas be fucking it up! And then that's how these females get lost and roam around the wilderness till they figure they find a way, which is being their own boss and their own leaders. And that's chaotic. But I don't want to sound chauvinistic. I love the ladies, King Siege, MCM, uh, like my page. I love the ladies, but let's try to get back to the natural order of things. Ain't nobody holier than thou. Uh, we all make mistakes, but let's just try to correct our mistakes with realness. Because without getting real with ourselves, we cannot grow. Shalom, King Siege. I love you, baby.